So here's the USB connector from the other video that I had uh, hooking up that uh, name badge thing. Soldering iron right here. Tin that. Oh, we're just going to solder this up real quick here. That ought to do the trick right there. That's fine. I, uh, I'm no good at soldering. I absolutely suck at it. But uh, that looks like that soldered rather well. So that's all good. Cut back all the other lines. I don't think they're going to short out the data lines and, and all that. They're not going to short against anything else. Have heat shrink tubing on the wires here and a big piece over here. So we're going to stop for a second, get all the heat shrink in place, and we'll cure that with the heat gun. Anyway, there's the uh, heat shrink tubing in place, and Sharky's got the uh, heat gun here to cure that, so go ahead and give her a whirl. It should like go up and down like the Yeah, just kind of wave it around okay. a little bit. Move it, yeah, move it up and down. There it goes. That's good. That ought to do it. <laughs> cool. Okay, now to cover all that up, go ahead. Okay, now it's time to go. Yep. I kinked the wires inside so the heat shrink tubing would cover everything. Not that it really matters, it's only a data a power cable, not a data cable. Perfectly fine right there. So, there's your USB extension cable that's just power and no data. Useful for a lot of things when you just need power to them, but you don't want them knowing that they're connected to a computer or things like that.